Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back in my workshop for my cleaning series that I've been working on. So today, I've got a special one. I got a cool one. Well, they're all cool, but I got a really cool one. The Steyer Aug. If you haven't seen our other video as part of our channel, then I suggest you go back and watch it. It's a pretty, pretty neat little video, but I just recently got the Styrog. I picked it up actually at a gun show on a fluke. I saw it and it's like, man, really, I've been really wanting one, been really wanting one, and I finally decided to get it. So, anywho, what we're going to do today is we're going to do the cleaning series, the breakdown and the cleaning for the Styrog. Now, I'm going to preface this right now. Since this is new, I've probably only put 100 rounds through it at best. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video done where we did the cleaning of it, the breakdown and cleaning of it. So other than that, I'm not going to bore you with too much about, about the gun because I think I did that in my last video. So we're just going to jump on into it. So let me get set up on the bench. All right, guys. So here it is. If you want me to be completely honest, I was honestly really surprised as to how easily this really broke down. So we're going to start, obviously, no mag. We're gonna lock the bolt back. And with that, quick and easy barrel remover. A little pin right here, you push the pin, it turns, and out comes the barrel. There is the barrel. That is super simple. Now, with it still back, little button right here, you push it, it'll come out the other side. Make sure you have pressure on the top of it so it doesn't just shoot out. But when you pull that, the receiver will release. And there's your receiver and your bolt, and all you're left with is your stock. Now, that being said, you can depress the end of the butt plate, pull out the sling holder, and off comes the butt plate, and out comes the trigger pack. And then literally all you have left is the bare stock. So. At this, you could wipe this down, you know, wipe it down inside, outside, but to be honest, with the short stroke piston that they, short stroke gas piston that they use, the inside of this should never really get too dirty. So we're going to set it off to the side. So it's the same with your trigger, your trigger pack. Your trigger pack actually shouldn't get very dirty itself either. And you know, this is pretty much all polymer. Your hammer it good idea to you know wipe it down you know make sure it's good and wiped down but you don't need a whole lot of oil you don't need a whole lot of anything because again this far back it shouldn't get dirty now when you do oil you want to put a little bit of oil on the springs just to make sure that they're all still in working order like i said there's not been a whole lot through this one so there's not a whole lot to clean i will oil it though But as for that, that's really all there is to the trigger pack. And then once all that's clean, you can set it to the side. Super easy so far, right? So the barrels, just like any other regular barrel, except for the fact that this one, you know, comes out really, really, really super easy. Yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna take a little bit of oil. I still don't have any of my spray stuff. But I'm gonna put a little, a little bit of oil on the inside, help start breaking some of that stuff up. Some of the carbon and whatnot. Then I'm gonna get my brass bore brush. And I'm gonna run it through the barrel. Just breaking up that carbon, spreading that oil getting as much off as I can. All right, so what I'm gonna do, once I've got the oil in there and setting, I'm gonna take my patch pusher and I'm gonna run it through it. Ooh, that one was nice and dirty. Even for just 30 rounds, or 90, 100 rounds.
But I'm going to keep running patches through it until it's clean. Those were just some of my solvent patches. These are just some of my cloth patches that I use to clean it out. Oh, cloth patches may be too big. There we go. All right. So once I get enough patches through there and they're all mostly clean or clean clean, then I will take one last patch. All right. I'm going to put some oil just on a clean one and I'm going to run it through the barrel. And what that's going to do is make sure that there's a nice coat of oil on the inside of the barrel. That way it doesn't rust. All right. We're going to set that to the side. All right. Now. There it is. There's your receiver. Barrel runs down the middle of it. All we may really need to do with this. See, there's where your bolt lock is at. We're just going to wipe it down. All the way forward. Q-tips work great to clean out the bolt lock. All right. And that part's already done. All right, and lastly, we've got the bolt. We're gonna pull it out and clean it. So there's two little wings right here. You're gonna pull those wings up, squeeze them together and pull them up. That stops this anti-turn pin right here. Then you're gonna turn that counterclockwise and out your firing pin is going to come. There it is, set it to the side. Lastly, your bolt has a little button right there. You're gonna push that and be careful, this is under spring tension. And then you're going to slowly let that out. There's your bolt and your bolt carrier. At this point, that's attached to that. There's your bolt. Pretty easy to clean. You wipe it down, spray it with your solvent, whatever it is you're going to do. Again, there hasn't been too many bullets through this. So we're just going to wipe it down. Make sure it looks decently clean. Also remember that with the short gas piston, short, yeah, short stroke gas piston, there we go, a whole lot, not a whole lot of the carbon and fouling is going to end up in the receiver anyways. So there's all that. And there it is. That is completely broke down and field stripped as far as really you're going to need it to go. So you can pull this down, clean it up, everything else, and then let's get to putting it back together. So. Getting it put back together, again, super, super simple. Really, the only thing that we're going to oil is parts that touch metal. So, the ejector doesn't hurt to have just a little bit of oil in it. And then, the spring. You can put a little on there, rub it around. Make sure the spring is good and lubed. And then we're going to line this up where that little dot sits in there. And we're going to set that in there for a second because we need to get our firing pin. Make sure, since it's going to touch metal, we'll get a little bit on the spring. And we're going to put just a little light coat of oil across the whole firing pin. Except for the back of it. They don't need the back of it. Get off my fingers. All right, now we're gonna push the bolt in. It's a little bit tricky, but the edges line up. Make sure you get the spring and everything. There we go. Man, I struggled with that for a minute. 
but I haven't honestly broken this one down very much, but it's just, it takes just a little bit of finagling and a little bit of movement. But once you get that in, you're gonna drop your firing pin in from the backside. There we go. And it's gotta push that button up right there. So when you push the firing pin in, it's gonna push up this button, but you're gonna turn it, make sure these are sideways. You see how that's sideways? You're gonna push it in, and once you get it in, you're gonna turn it, and that's gonna lock it into place. And then you can bring your wings back down. There we go. Now that's not gonna spin anymore. And check your button, make sure your button looks good, and that your bolt actually moves. All right. So, that said, again, light coat of oil. This is gonna to touch metal. These are your piston rods. So this is your piston that goes up to your gas block. But we're just going to make sure it's got a nice little light coat of oil on it. And especially the top of this as well. Because this will touch the inside of the receiver. Not a whole lot, not dripping, not anything like that. Just a very, very light coat. And yes, it's going to touch the top of the receiver, but you know, we also don't want to, we don't want rust to form. All right. Once all that's on there, your bolt carrier group is assembled again. We can start putting together the whole rifle. All right. We're gonna start here. Remember we gotta put our trigger pack back in the back of it, just like that. We're gonna put our cover on it, just like that. And then we're going to apply, put our pin back in. Oop. Now, remember, you have to push in here on the, on the butt, stock of the butt stock plate. And what that does is it allows for the rings that hold the butt plate in to capture into that ring. All right, we're gonna make sure our receiver pin is pushed out. And we're gonna take our receiver and slide it in till it lines up and you push the pin through. Now, this part's very important. You gotta make sure that your bolt is locked back in order to put your barrel back in. And there it is, reassembled, and we're gonna do a quick function check. Bolt moves, safe's on, fires, safe's off, safe functions, everything looks good. All right, there it is. And there it is, a fresh clean styrog. Now one thing I, I did kind of forget to mention when I was done with the last one is everything when I get done cleaning it I'll take me a clean rag completely clean rag and I'll wipe down the entire rifle because I had oil on my hands I had carbon on my hands and all that stuff so get my hands cleaned everything else but then I'm just gonna wipe down the whole entire rifle and especially for a polymer rifle it's a good idea that keeps all the oil and everything off the polymer because polymer is not gonna rust so just make sure you get all the oil off of it so, other than that, we function checked it. Everything looked good. Let me tell you, this is probably by far one of my favorite rifles now. I went out there, we shot it, and it just, it shoots great. Loading it is a little bit of a challenge, but just like any other rifle, all you gotta do is practice with it, and you can learn to be good with it. But outside of that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my other ones, feel free to check them out. We have, I have a whole series of cleaning firearms. So check those out. Other than that, if you liked it, like, subscribe, and share because that really helps out our channel. We just recently passed 500 and I couldn't thank you guys enough. So other than that, hope you had a good day. Hope you enjoyed it. See y'all next time. Bye guys.